let's take this moment to turn towards one another, to welcome each other to our celebration of the Mass. Good morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate Saturday in the 29th week of Ordinary Time. And our opening hymn is Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others come. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us now call to mind our sins so as to prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are risen from the dead. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Your spirit gives us wisdom. Christ eleison. You plead for us before the angels of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes through faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us. As it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said, thus shall be, thus shall your descendants be. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers, Lord remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. He remembers forever his covenant. 
which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord, the Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. For he remembered his holy word to his servant Abraham, and he led forth his people with joy, with shouts of joy, his chosen ones. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Spirit of Truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, Everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A man died, and he went up to um, heaven, and he was at the pearly gates, um, and St. Peter was there. And he was like, do I get in? And St. Peter goes, uh, well, let's, let's see. Let's see. We'll check this out. So St. Peter turned on his computer. Okay, heaven's moved into the 21st century. He turned on his computer, and he said, okay, let's play your life, and let's see if you get in. So they start looking over his life and some of the good deeds, and then all of a sudden, there's... The screen goes blank, and um, there's no sound. And then a couple minutes later, it comes back on, and we're playing more of the man's life. It goes blank again. So the man was starting to get a little annoyed. He goes, this is worse than the streaming services we had down on Earth. Why is the screen going blank like this? And St. Peter just said, the screen's going blank because those are the moments that you asked for forgiveness, you were forgiven, and Jesus came to your defense and erased it from the story of your life. And I think we recognize, we hear in today's gospel, how Jesus comes to our defense if we ask. You see, by the, as we heard in the first reading, by the standard of the law, there is no, um, that we would never be able to be saved. It is only by our faith and our trust in Jesus. But then the next part of the, about the gospel has perplexed philosophers for many centuries because Jesus shares that there's some of sin that even Jesus cannot defend, even Jesus cannot erase. And philosophers ask the question, well, if God is all-powerful and has all the ability to do anything, can there be limits to what God can do? In fact, they will ask sometimes a philosophical question. Can the all-powerful God create such a large rock that God cannot move the rock? 
And of course, they try to solve this philosophy using human standards and not the standards of God. And it is God who created the world, and God created the world as God saw fit. And in that creation, God, being good, cannot do evil. God cannot lie. And God cannot violate our free will. That is how God created the universe. Not so much as a limit on the power of God, but by giving us the free will, that gives us the ability to love. Because without free will, you and I cannot love. And so that gets to that sin that Jesus said cannot be forgiven. And that is turning our backs on the nudging of the Holy Spirit to bring us into line, to bring us into following God's will. But if we choose to not accept God in our life, to not accept the Holy Spirit, then out of respect for our free will, that is the sin that God cannot erase. Jesus cannot come to our defense and take it off our opening tape. And I think we must recognize that it's that Holy Spirit that helps us, not just in our defense, but as we heard in the last part of that gospel, the Holy Spirit is with us, gives us what to say. On a personal note, tomorrow represents the uh, sixth anniversary of when Deacon Ricardo and I and 13 other men were ordained deacons in, in the Diocese of Orange. And I recognize in my ministry how the Holy Spirit many times nudges me, pushes me, to things that I might not be comfortable with. And I think many times in our lives, if we allow the Holy Spirit to be there, that becomes our defense. That becomes who is with us. So as we reflect back on the first reading, we hear Abraham hoped against hope that he would have descendants. May you and I recognize that we hope against hope that the God forgives us and God leads us always. Relying on the help of the Holy Spirit, we now present our prayers before our Heavenly Father. Our response, God of angels, be our shield. God of angels, be our shield. That the church may continue to proclaim God's word in the face of contradiction and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. God of angels, be our shield. That we may learn to trust in divine providence no matter how heavily our troubles weigh us down. Let us pray to the Lord. God of angels, be our shield. That the unemployed may find work and earn their living with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. God of angels, be our shield. That those who are burdened with sickness may find comfort in the love and trust of those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. God of angels, be our shield. That those who have died may experience merciful judgment and everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. God of angels, be our shield. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Mayra Mendoza and the Guerrero family. We pray in thanksgiving for Gigi Salunga, Vicky Angapido, and Carol Sherwin and Chris Botani. We pray for the health of Candace Lucas, Maria Moreno, Red David, and Janet Saito, and for the eternal repose of Jose Ariel Camo, 
Leonardo Chavez, Anita Hernandez, James Martin, and John Baumfuck. And in a moment of silence, we present to the Lord our own prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord, God of angels, be our, our shield. shield. God our Father, send us the gift of your Holy Spirit to protect and guard us from all sin and lead us into your light and into your truth. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit and contrite heart, we make something by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, hosanna in excelsis.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit gave that new life to the world, free me of this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. The Son of Man has come to give his life as a ransom for many. When the Lord appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The body of Christ. Do we now pray in union with our brothers and sisters online? those who are homebound and those who cannot receive our Lord sacramentally today. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To Saint Joseph, hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph to us too. Show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is 444, Come Holy Ghost. Come Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, the heavenly gift of God most high, thou font of life and fire of love and sweet anointing from above and sweet anointing from Ah. Uh...